We're here at Bash Mountain with a budget option RC. Now I know we have things on the channel that are like $700, uh, but on average we try to do things that are hobby grade around maybe two or three hundred dollars. And sometimes we do run across something in this price range that is pretty cool. This is the Jubatus Racing B416. Bonsai. Bonsai. That's a cool name. I like the Bonsai <laughs> name. Not anything we've heard of before, so it's definitely an off-brand kind of thing. But it's ready to run. It's four-wheel drive. And it's sold on Amazon. So this is not something overseas. That's... Well, it is, but... Well, sure. But it's on Amazon. You know what I mean? Like, there's Amazon customer support. It's not Banggood. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and Banggood is good. For some things, bad for others. And, and, and that's about the extent of what I can say positive about this. Abby said when we were coming out here, well, it's at least a brushless motor, right? Nope, it's brushed. We're gonna drive it. We're gonna let you Shocks experience it. Shocks look kinda it. cheap too. No, they're plastic. Yeah, they look pretty they're cheap. plastic. It's a lot of, there's the plastic uh, standoffs and you know, everything's plastic on here, but also <sighs> on big expensive hobby grade things, you see a lot of plastic too. So that's not necessarily the downside. The downside is the price. Now we've seen some WL Toys things that we love, love, love. Actually, they have a 10th scale WL Toys for 125 or so dollars. It might be going up. Before we run this though, and here's the most important thing to retain from this video. RC cars, our hobby, RC planes, all of it, and we're seeing it at the gas pump and everything, is taking a drastic price increase. Since Abby and I have been doing this, sure, we've seen things slowly flow up in price, but usually justified with new technology, like, you know, Spectrum, smart technology. At least you're getting something for that price increase. But now we're just seeing a price increase. And I don't know that the quality is getting any better. Maybe, maybe as we drive this every 30 seconds, candy will pop out and I'll be proven wrong. But we see things going up. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna link some of our favorite stores in the description box below. If you've been thinking about buying that Arma, Sinton, BLX or, or whatever, I highly encourage you to buy it soon. They have payment systems, payment things set in place because I guarantee prices of everything are gonna go up. We're seeing it on Banggood, we're seeing it at Horizon, at Amazon, everything is going up. So take my word, the favorite RC that you don't have but you want, you better buy it before the end of the summer because I guarantee the price is gonna go up. They might throw in a new receiver, but it's gonna go up. So we'll link our favorite stores below. If you would, please support us. And if we saved you a few bucks by letting you know that, then using our link goes a long way. Let's see if this little four-wheel drive brush, $130 RC car. Oh, there's a 5% off coupon, mate. Oh, uh, okay, that's pretty good. About 10 bucks <laughs> off, sir. Seven dollars. Uh, spits out candy every 30 seconds. Let's drive. The wheels kind of look like oversized wheels for a buggy. You know, it's a very short wheelbase and everything, but the wheels themselves in diameter look kind of big. And I like that. And it does look really good. Love the name Bonsai and the fact that it's ready to run. Bon oh, that Bonsai. Bonsai. That's Jubatus. Jubatus. Oh, it's Jubatus. That's all right, too. Uh, yeah, it all looks good. I'm just starting to get a little bit worried about the prices of things. Because in my opinion, this last year would have been about 90 bucks when you say it's not cheaper than that maybe cheaper it is but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be realistic and like it, it's not i'm not saying it's bad rc we'll find out as we drive you know this is pretty fun it's not bad yeah the, uh, the transmitter, the steering wheel, it actually feels good. It feels fairly hobby grade. And it's driving really nice on this loose gravel down here. Even with some big rocks and stuff. So the shocks are doing work. They're doing what they're supposed to do for a low clearance vehicle like this. That's not bad. Now? <laughs> okay, guys, let's hit a couple ramps. I didn't think I'd get any air here. I didn't think you'd get any air at all. I'll try one or two more times. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if the back wheels came No, up. they didn't. This <laughs> yeah, there we go. You, you did. did. <laughs> I think a rock helped. I think it did. Oh, not bad. I'm going to stand over here. Okay, no air. Do we even want to try? I'm going to try. We're at Bash Mountain. We have to know. There has to be some cars in existence that do not make it up Bash Mountain. 
Let's see. All right, let's do the easiest part, right? This is the easy. Wow, look, the water's kind of washing out away. It is. Huh. How did we get so lucky to find Bash Mountain pristine at the beginning of the year? And here it is. Wow. Like, did they? Did someone do work? Oh, hear that? Did you hear that? I like heard whining? It. Let's get a little closer. What was that? Was that the slipper clutch? Like I really don't know. whining? <laughs> if it is, that's Dang. really bad. Not like the hill. Could have just been the tire rubbing a rock weird. Oh no! Oh. It's probably not gonna make it because those ruts are like <laughs> canyons for this little car. <laughs> This does remind me of Dromeda, and that makes me happy. That's about the only thing. Oh, goodness. All right, you're fired. Okay. <laughs> okay, Abby is at the controls now, and we'll see if she can get up Bash Mountain with this tiny little buggy. I don't think it's going to happen. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you think this will make it up Bash Mountain? Certainly not slow. You have to hit it with speed. I, I figured that out pretty quickly. Get down the hill, get some speed. You can't do it like that, no way. Remember guys, if you're still watching and you want something in this price range, we did a WL Toys buggy that was about maybe like 130 bucks. I don't know what the price is at now, but we'll link it in the description box. It was 10th scale, Woo! ready to run, and it made it up Bash Mountain repeatedly. And it had a metal chassis and everything. So if it's still that price, that's that's the <laughs> competition we're looking at here with this one. We'll link it in the description box. Every little rock just like wipes out. I know, this thing is just small. And like, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Are you I fired like now? I think it's faster backwards. Maybe if it I is. I tried it backwards. Try. Could be geared horribly. Oh no, you're not gonna do it. It's going better Wow, backwards. it did a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, dude. Uh, guys, do you love or hate that we have a budget? You gotta say this is budget, because I mean, it honestly is. Do you like seeing this on no, the channel? <laughs> or do you hate it? Do you love it or hate it? Because sometimes I get mixed feelings. Like, our hobby grade collection is growing so much now and it is big enough that we probably would not ever have to put anything like this on the channel ever again. But I think there's a lot of people that like to see this kind of stuff. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's try another spot. Oh, no way. Well, that's as high as it's gonna get. Let's try another spot, come on. Well, I have an appreciation for RCs like this because Dromeda is what got us into ground vehicles for the most part. I mean, they really are. Axial did it and Arma did it, but we could afford Dromeda back when we had very, very little money. And so something like this, although it's not as awesome as a $300 RC, obviously, um, it will get you into the hobby. You're just not gonna have the best experience because like I said, for a few more bucks, you can get a WL Toys 10th scale, you could get an, an Arma even for just a little bit more. I think I'm fired now. You gave me the camera. <laughs> how long do you want this? How, how long will you guys watch us drive something like this? Is it something you'd stick around for for 30 minutes or is this it? Are we good? We're good, right? Because I'm I just, good. I, I would not recommend this. For personally. the price, I just can't do it. Like I morally, I know what else is out there. And I've told you guys, I'm going to link the other similarly priced 10th scale metal chassis option. Now I could be wrong. I mean, we did that like a month ago and it was about $130, I think. Uh, are you talking about the purple one? No, the red and white one that's 10th oh. scale. The purple one, it probably is about $120. No, and I think it's like 160 or so. Has it gone up that much already? No, I think that's what it was when we did it. The purple one? Yes. No, it was like 130. I know it. I know it's 160 now, that's crazy. So did you buy a purple buggy? <laughs> and has the price gone up that much? I'm telling you guys, RC is getting more expensive. It's just getting more expensive. Everything is. Everything is. But the, the RC industry, we're seeing it hit hard and fast. So if you have something in mind, an airplane, helicopter, whatever that you like, we're gonna link Horizon down below. So you can buy it from Horizon. We're gonna link Amazon down below. You can support us if you want to that I'll, way. I'll link our favorite, uh, budget buggies that we've talked about yes, too. Yes, good. And man, I'm just a little disappointed for the price, but 
I think we're going to see a lot of that in the near future. Remember, for a while, for like years, there was a period in time, and it's been a couple years, that Abby and I were seeing a lot of junk in the hobby, especially drones, and we pointed all that out to you. I mean, it was 50% of everything on our channel was total garbage. But we told you it was total garbage for a year straight, and we got so tired of just showing expensive garbage on our channel, we said, we're gonna take the channel in a slightly different direction, way less drones, thank goodness, and we flew more airplanes, and Abby got, especially Abby, more hobby grade ground vehicles and less drones. Now we still love our drones and we still plan to feature, you know, one a month or so. We, we need to get one out actually for you. And uh, we saw the industry change. Quality control went up quite a bit. I'm not saying we solely did that, but I think we helped impact it because we refused even the drones that were free. I mean, we were getting offered two, $300 drones all the time. And we said, no, because we're not gonna put it on the channel because we're not gonna promote junk. And um, you know, I think other people may have done that and that helped redirect the industry. Now, this is not junk. It's just a heavy price tag for what it is. And I, it sounds like a broken record, but we'll have the alternatives linked in the description box below to take care of you guys. So I'm gonna say this is a pass, right? Right. Now, if you see it for 80 bucks, yes. pick one up. Right. But not 130, because there's better stuff you can buy at that price point. Sorry, Bonsai, Jubatas. I'll probably end up giving you to a cool kid that we'll love you. loves RC, uh, but I just can't recommend you for that price. Uh, that's, that's too much. I'm gonna go ahead and say thanks to our patrons here and now for what you do for us, okay? Because it allows us to be totally transparent on our channel and have no holdbacks, no reservations. I don't, maybe I should care bonsai, but I don't care if I tell people the truth about you and, and my feelings about you. So there you have it. And now a massive thanks to the big guy upstairs for that moral compass that I've always followed on our channel. And if you made it this far in the video, it says something about you, we like you, you appreciate honesty and good moral values and family values. And so I thank you guys very much uh, just for allowing us to exist doing what we do. So big thanks to everybody for making this happen. We'll have an awesome alternative to this, a video of that popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.